DJ Mustafer. Mustafer there. That was a great play. He's probably the best one in that up front group. Senior defensive tackle and captain PJ Mustafer back to lead the Penn State defense for the 2022 season. Hi, Brian Tripp, joined by defensive line coach John Scott. And coach, what type of impact does getting PJ back and healthy for another year have on your defense? Well, it's tremendous. I mean, you've been around PJ Mustafer for five minutes. You know that he's serious about football. I mean, he has tremendous leadership qualities. Plus, you got a guy that's played a lot of football here at Penn State. He's a guy that people look up to. So having a guy like that back that's played a lot of big moments and made big plays at, at big times in the game is super important. You mentioned his leadership qualities. As he went down with an injury last year, he was still around the team oh, and yeah. so active. What did that tell you about the type of player and teammate that P.J. is? Well, it just tells you he cares about his teammates. And he's an ultra-competitive guy. So even though he wasn't out there with us in pads, he was definitely with us on the sideline, in practice, uh, in the scrimmages, in the meeting room. He was there. And his presence was felt. He was giving advice to the younger guys and the other guys that had played. And he was cheering us on. So we felt that and we supported that. I think everyone knows he passed his conditioning test already in July. The way he attacked his rehab to be ready for the start of the season, what else does that tell you about PJ? Well, PJ's got a great mindset. Uh, he's going to attack it the right way. So he attacked his rehab the right way. He was aggressive, which doesn't surprise people in the building because that's how he is about everything, you know, whether it's, he's competitive. And uh, your training staff did a great job with it, but we, we, we were really excited the way he attacked his conditioning. He attacked the workouts this summer to get back to where he is now. We talked about his impact on the defense and on the defensive line, his strengths. What can he bring to the table here in another season wearing the blue and white? Well, you know, number one, uh, he has tremendous experience and I think he's a tremendous player. You know, PJ is a strong, he's a stout guy. He's hard to move. Uh, PJ understands the game of football. Uh, he's good at picking up uh, little tendencies and things like that. So, his, you know, his football awareness is, is really off the charts. And so that just, that not only helps your defensive line, it helps our group because they're learning all those things from him. Whether it's his skill or his leadership, as you talk about learning from PJ, what does he mean for the other guys in your defensive line room? We talk about the, you know, the core values. He's a great example of that, but he's also a great example of how to be, I say, be a pro. The way he approaches everything, his business in the building, on the field, off the field, it's infectious and it just kind of just trickles down to the rest of the guys. What are you looking forward to most about seeing him back out there on the field at that defensive tackle spot this year? For him and the guys to go back out there and, you know, play to the level of where he was last year. You know, I'm excited to see him help our team and, and have that impact that he was having for us last year. He, he's worked so hard. Uh, again, our, the guys in that room love him, his teammates love him, and it just means a lot, you know. You, when that guy's in there, you want to you definitely give your all, you want to play as hard as you can, kind of a big bro. You know how that goes. Coach, appreciate the time. Thanks so much. Thank you. Appreciate it.